first meet it back after Christmas, uh, and uh, pretty pretty good season so far. I'm I'm okay with three losses. Uh, I mean, I would rather them not be there, but uh, they were good matches. And what's the? I mean, you guys got kind of a, a good core of kids. You and I mean, what three, four, five other guys that have done really well this year have done really well in the past. Uh, you guys just kind of. I guess piggyback on each other to keep going, keep trying to trying to get more. Definitely, uh, whether it's in during a match, during a, a meet, or in the room uh, practicing, uh, we're all pushing each other, and uh, you know, we can't finish something unless like, everybody finishes. Uh, so that, I guess that's the mindset that everybody does everything together. Uh, what's that? What's that kind of like? Just having I know wrestling's a lot of. Uh, I mean, you're on the mat by yourself, but there's a lot of that togetherness. Just I mean, what's is there a balance there to hey I got to go do my own thing, but trying to cheer everybody else on too? Or yeah, it's uh, it's probably it's, it's an individual sport, mm -hmm. but uh, it's probably like my favorite team sport too. Okay. Uh, you know, like just cheering everybody on the side of the mat is uh, just fun, and you know, to see kids that you would think uh, you know maybe you don't look so good that you just do incredible things and. Uh, uh, you could you could be down by nine and you could turn them over and pin them. It's, it's just it's awesome to see. Started when I was three or four, so it was to be like fourteen or fifteen years. Uh, and my dad put me in the uh, little kids program here, and uh, wasn't very good. I you know <laughs> I don't know very many little kids that are, but uh, I wrestled you know all the way uh, up to the Elks program and the middle school. And uh, high school, I guess I didn't really realize like that I was very you know, talented in, until I was in middle school, probably. Okay. Endurance would be like the biggest thing because uh, the technique really n never goes away. So once you learn something, you just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. But uh, the being able to go six minutes is the toughest part. Uh, sitting in the middle of a period and you're, you're you don't know how you're going to finish out. That's the that's the mindset. Uh, the mental part is bigger than the uh, physical part. What are your goals going forward here? I mean, this is your last hurrah here. Uh, what's what are the goals, and what do you got to do to to get there? Uh, finish out the rest of the regular season um, on a good note, and uh, go into sectionals with a good mindset, and uh, uh, hopefully come out on top there and go to districts and have a good showing at districts and go state. What's your, what's your draw look like? I mean, I know those assignments come out way before the season starts. Have you, you looked ahead that far, or is it just keep it going kind of match by match? Or? Uh, just match by match right now. I know, uh, you know there's some pretty good teams in the section in the district, but uh, I'm not worried about it right now. Myself included, I don't think anybody really expected us to do that. And, uh, you know, going into the season, I think you know, our goals were, you know, to just do better than last year. And, okay. uh, and then, you know, as we got past the Mount Air game, we're 2-0, and and then we're 3-0, and and then we're 4-0. and I think we just kept, like, building on each other, and uh, it was awesome. What was that, knowing that you guys are the team? I mean, obviously you wanted to break that streak before this year, but what's what was that like knowing, kind of looking back on it now, knowing, hey, we were the guys that were going to get that done? Uh, that'll be cool to remember, uh, to tell people when I'm older, or, and, that, you know, that banner up there is... Pretty sweet. They know that I was on the, I was a senior in high school, and that team uh, broke that streak. Take me. I mean, you got you're finishing up wrestling. I know you got a couple sports left. Uh, I guess just take me through. You're going doing golf and baseball. Take me through those a little bit. What are you, what are you hoping to get from those? Um, golf and baseball. It's just uh, I like golf just because it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I started varsity from freshman, sophomore, and junior year, and. Uh, uh, it's always fun to you know, just get a team together, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. we put a pretty good team together last year. We went to districts, and uh, two years ago we were bumped up to 3A, so we didn't have quite the best uh, draw there. Okay. But it's always fun to just golf with the same people. Like I said earlier, the endurance part. Uh, I wrestled that kid five times last year, and uh, I didn't win a single one of them. And uh, I think he was better conditioned than I was, and obviously in the last you know minute of that match, it uh, it came in big, and um, you know just believing in myself mentally that I can get it done.
Is there any, I mean, physical things you work on too and to make sure you're ready to go six? Um, we run a lot <laughs> yeah. and uh, the practices, uh, practices aren't easy. So, uh, you know, we last week, I think you said, uh, we wrestled like nine minutes on Tuesday live. We wrestled like six minutes on Monday. So we do a lot of live wrestling in practice to uh, prepare for meets and stuff. Who do you work with then the most? Uh, Kyle Owens. Okay. I, I know you guys got some other guys just to, to finish up here, but I mean, team-wise, what, what do you feel some of these other guys can do? And you got to be pretty excited to see what they can do too, I'm sure. Um, for sure. Uh, um, Kyle, I expect him to have a good, good season to finish out. And uh, a couple more seasons behind him. Uh, he's only a sophomore. Okay. He's doing good things. Um, Brody Bob, he's a senior, and uh, I'd just like to see him. Uh, I'd like to see him go to districts, and I'd like to see him go to state too. Uh, that'd just be cool. You know, uh, wrestling with him from middle school to high school. Um, J.D. Lewis, um, James Rowe, he's a uh, move in from Glenwood, and uh, he's just done some good things for the team. Uh, and some younger kids, uh, Zach Harms is another one of those that I was talking about that uh, you don't really expect a whole lot of like big things and then you know he does some pretty incredible things on the mat